Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, we're going to be putting the engine of the truck back together. Um, I had it all apart, cleaning a bunch of stuff. I cleaned the intake and a bunch of stuff is what I had it apart for. So uh, we're going to be putting it all back together today. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end. So, um, update. We cleaned our valve cover. Um, I don't remember if I told you guys exactly what was happening, but if you see these trash bags, our rocker arms and all that are under here. We didn't want them getting dirty while we had the truck apart. Um, we're currently uh, pulling the valve cover off, putting a new valve cover gasket in it because it needed one. And uh, we wanted to pull the upper intake and clean it. And while we we're pulling the upper intake, it seemed, you know, logical to go ahead and do the valve cover while we we're at it. So that's what we've done. Um, we're going to be cleaning up these grommets. There's two grommets that go in here, one there and one on the other thing. Cleaning those up, uh, getting those back together, um, but we are going to have to wait on a couple gaskets to get here. Not not for the valve cover or anything, we can go ahead and get back, that back together, but for like the intake, we've got to wait on a gasket for it. Um, we want to go ahead and repair some of the vacuum line, like this, this, this old brake booster line. Maybe replace it. I don't know about the brake booster, honestly. It looks fine, but like this over here is completely broken. Um, this is just snapped off and it connects right there so we're just gonna have to buy a piece to fix that with uh, I think that's the AC something I don't know what it is to be honest but it needs to be fixed um, which watch that was what's causing the whole issue the whole time um, and then yeah and then we got a new PCV valve going on so a couple things that we've got I just wanted to update you guys let you know what we were doing So that you know, no one is confused because I don't like confused people. Alright guys, so we got our valve cover put back on and the gasket's on there and it's all looking good. We haven't cracked it yet, but um, there's a lot that has to happen before then. So the upper intake has to go on and we've got lots of parts for it. We've got a new gasket going here and some other things that we need to, we need to clean off these surfaces, but that's not what's happening right now. These grommets, you might be able to see them. There's still a grommet that goes here and another one that goes back there. Um, we were going to just clean up the old ones and put them back on, but we were ordering parts and they were like a dollar. So, we said screw it, we'll just put new ones on it, make it look good. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, that, we have a new vacuum line going in just because it's old. It needs to be replaced. And, so yeah, I mean that's, I got, all, I got a lot of parts, a lot of new parts. So, I'm going to go ahead and start it.
All right, guys. So we got the upper intake cleaned and bolted back on. Um, I dropped this nut for this one, so I've got to find it. I don't know where it's at right now, but I'm going to move on. I've been looking for it for a while and I'll look for it later. Uh, the next thing that we've got to do is um, we need to just start getting things reconnected. We have a new vacuum hose here for the brake booster. And then you probably can't see it from there, but the PCB valve has new hose going to it. So we do have a couple more things to hook up. Uh, we have to bolt our other intake piece back on. So we're going to take some paint or a brick clean, clean off the surfaces of that, smack it back together, and we're good to go. Um, so yeah. But um, for right now, we're going to try to get this side of the engine put back together. Uh, everything plugged in, hooked up, ready to go. Then we'll come to this side of the engine and mess with it because I don't even remember where half of these vacuum hoses go. Somehow, I have misplaced the bolt for the bottom part of the EGR. Now I gotta find it. I found the bolt. Alrighty guys, the truck is put back together as far as the engine goes. We've got new vacuum lines up here looking good. The whole engine is really looking a lot better than it did. Um, we will be fixed this. We're not even 100% sure what it did, but it's actually still a little loose. The vacuum lining bot is. So we're going to redneck it, put a zip tie on it, tighten it, snug it up because I mean it just barely fits and it's stupid to buy a piece of vacuum line for that in my opinion. But um, anyways, the last thing that we have to do, which this is an entirely separate video, is you guys you guys can probably see the cluster laying here and this is completely taken apart um so the problem with us cranking it today is this right here now if you don't know what this is this plugs into our fuel selector switch and the truck will not crank at all without that so we're not going to be able to crank it this video um but in the next one where we do this because i want an entirely separate video about this so that everyone knows how to do this because I looked them up and I cannot find a decent video on how to actually do this yourself, but um, I've, I've researched enough to where I know how. Um, so we'll be doing that in the next video hopefully, but until that next video is here, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I love all of you and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.